Hello and welcome to the live telecast brought to you from Sugatadasa Stadium, second semi final, second quarter final rather of uh, the Milo Knockout Cha President's Trophy. And uh, we are coming to you live from Sugatadasa Stadium. Yesterday we brought you the game Wesley College is taking on St. Joseph's, and today Trinity College will be facing St. Peter's College. Trinity have uh, very unpleasant memories of uh, their opponent uh, this year in the league. In the second round, they lost the game against St. Peter's. Shocking defeat at that time, but uh, Peter's turned out to be the giant killers. Getting the better of Trinity and Isi Patanus. So today's game is going to be a very important one because winner takes it all. They will uh, book a place in the semi-final and will meet uh, the person, uh, the team that will win uh, tomorrow's game. Uh, I see Patana taking on uh, St. Anthony is another interesting clash that because uh, Antonians are revamped after they have managed to win the plate championship of uh, the league. And joining with me in commentary is uh, Dinuk Baskaran. Welcome Dinuk. Yeah, good evening Sudarshana. Cracking game isn't it? Crowd is building up slowly, not as expected though. Uh, but yes, a uh, big match for both teams. Uh, Trinity playing, uh, not playing their big guns today due to injury and various other reasons, which uh, is, which is I think due to mostly uh, concerning to the body of their after a long season. But it'll be interesting to see how the young players take on this uh, uh, Trinity team. Looks like a team that will be fielded next year. And if you see the St. Peter's team, the big name missing there is Steven Sivaraj, their playmaker at number 10. He's also been missed today. So, Tikshana uh, Dasanayaka nevertheless, uh, Dasanayaka comes into the mix. It'll be a cracking one and uh, hope to see a close one too. Definitely. It'll, we are hoping for a close one talking about rugby. There have been, pl there've been uh, plenty of rugby happening around and uh, today, just before this game, uh, Crusaders managing uh, to not win against uh, the Lions. There was a lot of expectations uh, for the Crusaders after the fifth place uh, Super Rugby team in the New Zealand Conference. Uh, Blues managed to beat the British and Irish Lions, but Crusaders this time uh, not a single try scored in that game, 12 points to 3, going uh, the British Lions way. Yeah, bad conditions, wasn't it uh, down at uh, Christchurch? Uh, Lions played the, played the conditions well, uh, put some high balls in and uh, Crusaders, on the other hand, uh, it was a wall that they had to cross over. They had to score some tries today, but uh, 12 points to 3, very close. But the Lions have come on top. Let's talk about uh, yesterday's game. Uh, yesterday, Wesley College. For the game that we witnessed, Wesley dominated. Wesley almost dominated 80% of the game, but uh, the Josephians, however, managing to find down touching down another time, knocking the ball over inside the ingle there. Not many people here today in uh, the stands playing the games at the Sugatadasa Stadium instead of the usual spot. Uh, normally, we are used to seeing uh, the Milo knockout trophy happening at the Royal Complex. But in order to give every team a fair advantage, it has been moved on to a neutral venue. The pitch, although, however, looks promising, Dinak. Yeah, it looks nice. I think it's a newly laid pitch here at Sugatadasa. But the point of uh, playing at a neutral venue, Royal is not taking part. So there's always a there, you could have played at the Royal Complex, but who, you never know if we had played at the Royal Complex, Royal would have said yes. So uh, that, that's a tricky question that Milo had to decide, and the sponsors have agreed to play at Sugadasa, and Dharmaraja were the lucky ones out of it. That again a concern because Dharmaraja here has an unfair advantage over the other teams because they come into uh, we find, uh, with because uh, the school's president's been uh, he could have known uh, he was going to take part or not we could have easily gotten another team maybe Kinsun from uh, from the lower division or Zahira yeah lucky one for Dharma Rajas and it finishing uh, coming to the knockouts at the eighth position and to get into the semi-final is very lucky absolutely and that's that but uh, here we are second quarter final Trinity College taking on 
सेंपीरस कॉलेज and, uh, let's try and take a look at the two team cards uh, of uh, the teams. Uh, quite a bit of changes uh, with uh, both teams. And first up, uh, the Peters College team card, Udukumura Charles, Abdullah Mendes, Hilmi, Mohidi, and Karnaratna. Fernando, Ravin Fernando at the halfback position. No Steven Sivarat, so Suhain Fernando takes up the fly up position. Madhushanka, Sunara Fernando, Dikshan Dasarai to keep an eye out on this guy. And Marcus Au and Diaz Fernando just for Peters. And Trinity team card, Amadi Vitarana, Vijay Telika, brand new front row there, Shanala Bevarna and Joshua Peter to five new players in the tight five, not the usual starting lineup. Bevishan Vijay Vikram, Akani Shalvis and Nathan Chang, the third row. Vishwarana Raja in place of uh, the vice captain Anuka Boyagoda, Akita Sakalisoria uh, gets a starting position. Rashen Bandar Naika, Navin Rajaratnam, Warren Virakon. Gaurav Sennevirat and uh, Russia in Bandar Naik. So new look Trinity outfit as well. Uh, almost almost the next year's team. Yeah, almost the next year's team. A good test uh, for our coach Lute and the management to try out how this team will uh, fare in the next season. But uh, playing on the current current setup, I think they would have played the played the first 15, but due to injury concerns, they couldn't. We're joined by a former Trinity skipper, uh, but uh, let's take take a look at the replacement first. Uh, Shavi Nekanayak, Avish Priyanka, Valivat, Bandar, Netra, Ushad Ratta, Tyanuka Boya, Goda, Dani Dohera, Tamit Kolatung and Vimar Prabhat for Trinity and for Simpedas. Serum, Fernando, Shanuka, Nikhil Yapa, Senura Pereira, Dilshan, Madhushanka, Ashen Ranasinghe, Vishwa Shehan, Jason Kulatilaka and so Trinity still have that firepower in their bench so they will be looking to utilize that as well and uh, joining with us uh, like I mentioned earlier is a former Trinity skipper uh, captain Trinity in 2011 Murad uh, welcome to the com box thanks Dashna uh, well good evening everyone um, I think St. Peter's I think St. Peter's uh, is walking in as favorites today on books because uh, Looking at the past record, past results of the game, I mean the league tournament. I think St. Peter's is one step ahead, and also Trinity feeling uh, putting in a young side means that Trinity have to do that, go that extra mile to get that big W in front of them. Absolutely, Murad, because uh, Pete Wrights will be coming into this game very confident because they've got one over uh, in the league, creating a big upset because nobody expected Peter's to be Trinity, but um, Trinity after two. Devastating losses uh, to their arch rivals, Royal College. We, after the first loss, they surrendered the league trophy. After the second, they surrendered the Bradby. Uh, but this could be their redemption. This could be uh, their redemption in terms of this season because uh, this team uh, does deserve to have some silverware to take home and show that they they won something. As you said, uh, Piris, I think yes, they do deserve something more than this, more than that, and. Uh, Trinity College going through with their school song.
So there you go, the formality is done with the two uh, teams going through with the school songs. Interesting game that we have in our hands. Both teams will be focused on getting this over Murad. Exactly, uh, I mean, this will be the last time either one of these schools wearing their college crest on, on their chest, on their heart and playing it for their school for the last time because since this is a knockout game, I mean, one school have to walk off saying goodbye to the season. Absolutely, I will come. It will be very important for the last years, the ones who are wearing it for the final time. This could be the very last time. And uh, when it's the last time uh, that you're wearing the jersey, you don't want to give it away. You don't want to give it away, losing specially. So uh, they will be focused to get this one off. True, true, Sudarshan. And I think body language of both teams shows that they want it, that hunger, that need to, need to win. And I think it will be a close call today. Today's game will be officiated by referee Dean Kapiris. The man in the middle who will be uh, in charge of the whistle. Trinity's Russian Bandar Naika to kick off. Trinity will be focused on getting a good kick off. Bandar Naika with a deep kick. He has to be mindful. Yes, this is exactly what we uh, said. Tiny in goals. You need to be mindful of the conditions and also the ground condition and get adjusted to it as soon as possible. Yeah, putting in, trying to put it deep there, just uh, the bounce of the rugby ball, never pretty, that could have sat up any time and this went into in, in goal. Good opportunity for St. Peter's to start off with center scrum and they have split uh, three by three on the backs. Interesting to see, we'll keep the 20 defense guessing on which side they will go. Young scrum are for Trinity and Pereira for St. Peter's putting in the feeding in his first scrum. It will be interesting to see how this scrum will be managed. Trinity had a torrid time last time they came out in the red, gold, blue against Raw is in the scrum but uh, they come out with a decent scrum this time. Pete Wright are now keeping it close to their forwards. trying to send it out now Peters have numbers on the outside can they get the exploit the overlap straight away on the charge but throwing the opportunity away unfortunately for Peters he passed to no man and uh, through that Trinity getting their first touch of possession Kanish always the man taking the ball forward Sakalasuri has been entrusted with the number 10 jersey. Now with Rajaratnam. Sakalasuri tried a little chip kick, didn't turn out his way. Now possession with St. Peter's. So referee will bring back play to that initial uh, knock forward. A little messy start from both teams. Yeah, messy start. Uh couple of knock-ons by both teams. Trinity not clearing their lines out from their 22, trying to play their rugby from their own half, which they have been successful in few occasions in this season. We'll be testing to see how, because now these teams know uh, operations very well and their players very well after playing them for the first time. This is the second time, so uh, a lot of preparation would have gone. Robin Fernando to feed in uh, to the speed right scrum, steady one, 8-9 move, gives it out to the 11, 8-9, 11 now, they gain good meters, St. Peter's, keeping it with, with the forward, big prop forward, taking the ball forward, now they have numbers on the outside, but instead, the big front row forward, Busting through the 20 defenses. Now they have space. 20 that time did very well because uh, Pete Wrights were threatening. Peters have been dominating territory and also possession in this opening when it's of the clash. 20 will consider themselves very lucky if they can defend this, defend this threat out and see them off. Pete Wright with a beautifully formed line. They have numbers on the outside, but they have been 
Referee playing advantage now. Pete Wright's on the march. Now they have numbers on the outside, but Ravin Fernando opted to go by himself. Now the speeds are on the corner. Almost bundled into touch. Good hit coming in from uh, Fazil Abdullah. Diaz Fernando now trying to find his way through the Trinity defense. Now up to switch to the short side. Well defended there by Trinity. They need to fan out their defenses because there is a huge overlap on the outside for St. Peter's. Pete Wrights, however, are content to going close. Diaz Fernando steps back inside. Stops inches away from the try line but the referee is holding on to the ball and uh, Trinity will be breathing a big big sigh of relief yeah, wave after wave the St. Pete Wrights came at the Trinity defense and managed to hold on Trinity just held on to their tackles kept Peters on the five meter line and then the at Fernando white line fever that trying to uh, score the try by himself had two on the outside didn't want to pass and he pays the penalty, getting back, uh, giving back position and coming back to the 40 meter mark to start uh, start all over again. Absolutely, the up. Murad, it should have been given out because there was a clear man advantage on the outside. They could have worked from there on. True, true Sudarshan. I mean, this is where it comes down to playing basic rugby, just catch and pass. And I think St. Peter's was doing it really well, but until that last minute where they lost it. Oh. Trinity yet again opting to run, the, run their own ball, still inside their own half, not trying to clear or go into that territorial game. Maybe with uh, Lasan not starting the game, Warren Virakon now has been a devastative runner, wearing the number 13 jersey, Sakala Surya, gives it to Bandar Nayaka, who cuts back inside. Now Virakon again puts in a little chip into empty space. Not good chases coming in, not committed chases coming in at least. Kulatunga now. I beg your pardon, that's Rishan Bandar Nayaka. Gives it out to Pravinda Vijay Teleka, who is a strong carrier of the ball. Sakala Surya to Pravinda. Now Rajaratnam has, has speed. Beautiful offload into the hands of Diaz Fernando, who will go all the way. He says thank you very much. Goes under the post, no problem. Um, Diaz Fernando will touch down. Very is, unfortunate. This is a perfect example of again playing basic rugby. I think Trinity could have just cleared it. I don't. I'm not really sure of what the game plan for today is, but. Them playing in the red zone uh, costed a try, I would say. I mean, they could have just cleared, gained some ground, and then played from their green zone. Whereas St. Peter's just capitalizing on the mistakes that Trinity is doing at the moment. Skipper Fernando, the first try scorer of the game, and in the opening minutes, fair to say that uh, St. Peter's were dominating possession, uh, dom dominating territory in the opening minutes of the game. Trying to add in the extras. The conversion's good, and uh, let's take a look at the replay. Tik Sudasan Aika adding in the two extras, so seven points to nil. There you go. Raja Ratnam passing it out un unnecessary because there was nobody to collect that pass. It would have been better off for him to take the ball to the ground and recycle. But Diaz Fernando, there was no stopping him after he caught that ball. All he saw was that white line which he missed earlier. Adding in seven points. So Trinity straight away under pressure. Yeah, under pressure they have been from the start of this kickoff. Put the ball deep inside. Uh, the in goal area of St. Peter's initially. There you go. This is what uh, basic rugby Murad was talking about. Ravin picks up the ball straight into touch and they'll restart proceedings. 
Trinity on the other hand now they've gotten into the opposition half for the first time they'll be trying to do something from here Eranjan uh, with Arana the number two has been picked over Valivato who was the starting hooker for Trinity Mind you know Avisha Priyankara no Shavine Kanayaka. Brilliant defense coming in from uh, St. Peter's. Great line speed shown. Ranaraja gives it out to Pravinder. Referee say referee has his hand hand out for offside play. And Trinity on a penalty. They will uh, be looking to kick to the lines and start from there. Bandar Naika with the clearance. Interesting that it's a brand new tight five that's playing. So the line outs, the scrums, the composure, and uh, the mix has to be changed. It'll be interesting to see how Trinity tackles that. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see, but most of these five have been in the bench, so I don't. They'll be. They would have been playing together in the practice games, or the practice uh, sessions. Very lucky for Trinity. Considered a knock forward, but uh, St. Peter's closing the gap, so there'll be a free kick. And they're going for scrum for a scrum once again. Calling for a scrum, interesting because they have had plenty of trouble when it comes to scrum time, Trinity, during the past. Ford 9, there you go, the replay. Pete Wright's guilty of closing the gap and referee was right on spot. I think, yes, I think uh, we do add on the scrum, scrum, scrums uh, of Trinity, I think uh, the department need to work a bit more than what they have because they had a weight, I think they still have a weight advantage and still uh, they are not making use of it. Nathan Chang with a very rare good break. Sakala Surya looked at uh, offloading but decided to go in himself. Warren Virakon now straightening up. Virakon is through. Can he go all the way? Yes. And yes, he does. Warren Virakon touches down strong, carry out the ball. Virakon. And he uh, brings Trinity to a two point deficit. And uh, now this is where it's going to come down to. Remember, uh, against St. Joseph, when there you go, the replay. Warren Virakon, strong runner. There was no stopping him. He carried four players and scored uh, against Science College. But uh, coming back to the kick, this is what's going to be in interesting because against St. Joseph's, we saw Trinity leaving out almost close to 15 points on the park in the first half, playing without Lashan Vijay Surya. Here again, we are going in without the steady kicker Russian Bandar Naika yes he can kick but how important is it to have another person who can convert yeah very important you have to have at least uh, three to four in your squad uh, in your wider training group training kicks and uh, I think that's one uh, that's a trick that Trinity have missed this season Russian just putting it off the right post so uh, something that uh, the staff uh, and the management will have to work on uh, coming uh, coming into the 2018 season uh, it's very hard to groom a kicker mid-season although there were a few exceptionals uh, in in the, in the past but uh, I didn't really have to work on that very important uh, aspect of the game absolutely you know, I think back on to 2008 I believe when uh, one of the prop forwards Riazi opted to kick a very crucial penalty and uh, win the game for Trinity but here we are five points to seven is the score Previn the taking on the ball for Trinity big hit but a bigger mistake uh, giving the ball out to the beat rides Roger is there for redemption good turnover referee says no advantage so no knock forward advantage given to St. Peter's Trinity very lucky there, but it has been turned over. Pete Wright still with possession. 
and lets him through right through the middle. Captain Chang just had her arm out. Now, yet again, Diaz Fernando could have passed easily, had a man on the outside, but decided to go in himself. Referee playing knock forward advantage. Pete Wright with possession. Have plenty numbers on the open side of the field. They need to settle down. And playing off his feet, says the referee. So Peters with a penalty opportunity and they take it quick. Tikshin, Dasanai, and will touch down for the second try for St. Peter's. Three tries in the matter of 10 seconds, 15 seconds rather, 15 minutes rather. Dasanai covers the try scorer at that time. Pete Wright, I thought, were a little industrial to take that quick tap. There you go. A big man going in, Trinity defense scrambling. It was just a gift to try by Trinity College. Their defense has to step up if they if they want to have any chance in this game. Yeah, that's a, that has been the uh, case throughout the season. They were not tested in the first round. Come the second round, there were uh, some uh, holes in that defensive uh, defensive line uh, that was picked up by the opposition. Again, you saw about four players uh, running into a loose ball. A loose pass from the uh, uh, from the Pete Wrights and the Pete Wright player just managed to snipe through in. That's where it all started before the penalty was conceded. Absolutely, you know, the try scorer looking to add two more to the Pete. It have been controlling. Two more points added. Fourth. With us now on www.thepapra.com and Dialogue TV channel on. Welcome to Sukhumdasa Stadium. We are bringing you pictures from the second quarter final of the Milo President's Knockout Trophy 2017. Trinity have just conceded the second try of the game. Bandar Naika restarting, puts in a deep kick. And Fernando with the clearance, this and fine touch this time. And uh, Trinity seems like they don't want it. But uh, St. Peter's are very eager. They've been controlling this game very well. Doing the basics right like Murad said. And showing plenty of hunger and intent. True, true. I mean, they really they show they, they they really want to win. I mean they, they show the hunger. I mean even the defense, they aren't that close. Well as Trinity they're still standing on their heels and I think it's too late for them. It's not too late for them to get back, but uh, on the other hand, St. Peter's, they are playing their hearts out. Absolutely. You can see uh, the commitment in the defensive effort. Nathan Chang carrying the ball forward. Sakala Surya now gives it out to Shanal Abewala. Gives away possession brilliantly done by St. Peter's. Too high on, on him uh, by Bandar Naika. Lucky that he managed to stop the ball. Pete Wright gaining confidence through every pass that they do. After every phase, they look a little more confident than they were earlier. Whereas the Trinidians are reeling. Ball has been turned over by Raja Ratnam. Trinity will be breathing a big sigh of relief and Warren Virakon taking the ball on the short side comes in crashing. Now to Bevishan. Strong lad. Junior national weightlifter. Trinity with the advantage. Kanesh always. Offloads the referee will take back play for the off offside offense. 
Trinity need to consider themselves very lucky because there is absolutely no structure in their play. They look like they are picking the ball and running, running forward like untrained soldiers in a battle. True. I mean, uh, looks like they are applying the sevens kind of rugby to the fifteens, and it's not really working well with St. Peter's. And I would say they would have gone for three points and at least start with a twenty-two uh, meter drop goal, then going into play with forwards as we got some. They got some new set of forwards with less experience I would say it's coming down for the first time but uh, they managed to get possession Seems like he's going to let him go away with a warning. Charles is the culprit. Stern warning by referee Pires. A high tackle and uh, the next time the card will come out, says the referee. Another penalty, interesting. They are going for a... I would say Sudarshan, the scrums have been, or rather the scrums have improved from last week and uh, looks like Trinity settled down in their scrums and uh, turning this into points is very vital as this is a knockout, knockout game and uh, it's just the win that matters and there's no bo bonus points needed. I think they need to capitalize on this, at least a three-pointer. Um, coming into their half, going empty-handed is not, not really uh, an okay for them. towards the line stopped inches away will they resort there you go that's the try second try for Trinity Shanala Bewarni is the man coming out with the ball the number four another weight lifter in the play already 22 minutes into this right have exploited Trinity mistakes. Take a look at the replay. Runner Raja running across, giving an inside ball to Bandar Naika, who was shot. Was stopped. Take a look at. Bandar Naika's conversion will be looking to get his team to cross. And that time it's good. So 12 points to 14. Trinity, two points away. They would they are very lucky that they've been able to come this close to St. Peter's because
beat rights have been dominated in this 20 minutes. Yeah, they have been. Uh, they, they were park, they parked themselves inside the 20 half uh, for about 80 percent of this uh, first half, which has been played so far, and uh, and for Trinity to score two tries, uh, it's a bonus for them. And St. Peter's have a cracking lineup. Their backs are superb. They miss. They will miss uh, Steven Sivarat, but Teach and Adiyat and Ravin are just a superb bunch of uh, backs that any team would love to have. Sakala Surya this time uh, deciding that playing in the red zone has hampered their chances. Giving it out, Diaz Fernando putting in a little chip kick. Marks out Bandar Naik very well. And turns the position over as well. Very good work by the lads from Bamba. Now Peters have plenty numbers on the outside. Pete Wrights now have a brilliant chance, one man to beat. St. Peter's have been brilliant so far this game. They need to build up the faces, commit Trinity defenders and send the ball out wide. There you go, this tackle and that will be the third Pete Wright try. Absolutely brilliant stuff from St. Peter's. Every time they come into the 2022, they look absolutely threatening, uh, Murad. And they use up their faces very well. Hit two faces in the middle and send the ball out. And as soon as you send the ball out, take a look at that. One missed tackle, Raj Ratnam. And thank you very much, he says. I think St. Peter's is capitalizing on the common mistakes that Trinity is doing at the moment. I mean, one thing is that they are not fanning out properly with uh, having mismatches in front of them. And the other thing is that uh, they are standing on the heel, whereas you should be on your toes, ready to launch yourself for defense. I think St. Peter's is capitalizing every opportunity that they get. And they come onto, their, come onto the green zone, they score, they put some points in the board and go back home. Whereas Trinity have been struggling so far. And I think uh, Peters is playing knockout kind of rugby. Absolutely, absolutely. The Breed Trites are playing knockout kind of rugby. Two, play, two Trinity players are already on the field. Very much concerned uh, physio calling for the doctor to come take a look at him. That's Bandar Naika, on Bandar Naika, the wing three. seems like he's gotten his leg stuck trying to move back and he goes to the ground straight away Raja Ratnam mistimes that tackle and there you go awkward position seems like he's gonna be stretched out It's not uh, Bandar Naik actually. It's the win three quarter. Gau Gaurav, unfortunate for him because he's just just gotten a starting nod in the team. Very unfortunate for Trinity. They had an injury concern coming into this game. And uh, 25 minutes into the game, the wing three quarter is being stretched out. So Amit Kulatunga comes in. Maybe a blessing in disguise because uh, Kulatunga has no experience in playing in this kind of crunch situations. 
true, uh, Sudarshan, but uh, having fresh legs at this time of the game for a team from Hill Capital, I think uh, it's not that too good, but uh, circumstance led them to do so. Lassanaika with the conversion uh, looks good. Has it got the distance? Marginally so, so. Another conversion by Lassanaika, brilliantly done. For a second, uh, we were wondering whether it'll go all the way, but it did. So 21 points, 212. Pete Wrights with a nine point lead. And we've seen uh, three times Trinity made unnecessary mistakes. Three times Pete Wrights ended up scoring. So they will have to be very mindful. Trinity. And uh, as for the Pete Wrights, uh, all they got to do is keep doing what they're doing. They've been controlling the game very well. They've, they've shown good intent. And uh, they've shown their eagerness to control the faces. Bandarnaik at that time opting to take the ball forward uh, rather than kicking it out. Now Sakal Surya opting to put the ball to boot. And uh, referee has penalized a Petrite player. Referee did call for the substitution to come, uh, but uh, the side referees <laughs> wanted to keep the player for a little long. Interesting there. So two substitutions very early in the half for Trinity College. A little bit of a concern. What's interesting is Sudarshan. Uh, Akita Sakalasuri has started kicking from his 22. He should have done that from the word go. Early in the match, he opted to run from the 22, and that's where Saint, uh, Trinity conceded a couple of tries also after turnover ball for St. Peter's. And now he's kicking well, but he's kicking into the hands of uh, Diat Fernando, who's a dangerous counter attacker. Again, unsuccessful final for Trinity, but uh, quite the options open. Diat Fernando this time was tackled. Peters with a very well spread line. They are they're going out using the width of this field. They're using it very well, Peters. But Trinity earned a penalty. Peters going off their feet, says the referee. Underneath the post on the 22 meter mark. I beg your pardon, on the 40 meter mark. Will they go for? touch yes they will go for touch because remember Trinity doesn't have an established kicker in their ranks with Vijay Surya not starting this game and Vijay Surya not even in the squad today Ranjan will be hoping for better luck this time with his throw. And they lose possession Trinity and uh, St. Peter's will be very happy. Yet again throwing it away. This is where we were speaking earlier Murad, doing the basics. Not trying to be too fancy, you take the ball forward, you're on front foot take the ball to the ground and recycle from there. I don't see Trinity playing their normal... I don't see Trinity playing their normal kind of rugby where they, you know, use the forwards in between the line and playing expansive rugby today. Trinity is playing a bit more around the forwards and then looks like the forwards are exhausted than they are. And that costs a lot of unforced errors by the forwards. Fahmi the scrum in their own half bar for the... Pete Wrights and that's a knock forward in goal. 
Look. So one mistake mirrored by the other team. This is yet again another opportunity for Trinity to put some points on the board and at least maintain that two-pointer in their scoreboard. Referee spotted something he doesn't like to see. Having a word, Diaz Fernando. Whoa, that was a little harsh. I believe uh, he was arguing with the referee. That was uh, that was some telling by Diaz Fernando. He made himself very, very clear what he wanted there. Tandem Sandaruan receiving the wrath from Fernando. There's two senior players, they are Ravin and Diyat, uh, three slaps and a hug. <laughs> Warren Virakon crashing uh, through the middle, nowhere, no way from there. But uh, Nathan Chang will score under the post. So third try for Trinity coming up. 17 points to 21. Trinity uh, still quite a way to go. Take a look at the replay, Virakon was the man who was crashing in and uh, Nathan spotted that there was no one around the fringes, very easy for him on the post try, hasn't had that luck very many times in this season so far. I think if I'm not mistaken this is the second try he has scored. Trinity playing more likely, quick off that ruck, Nathan taking off the feet, uh, not waiting till the support arrives and recycling, saw the space in front, front of him and uh, going for it, going for the try. <laughs> Very casual, couple of steps taken back, waited and uh, wait, took a bit about a couple of seconds more to kick that off. And Peter's presence of mind right in front of him to stop two points at the end of uh, 80 minutes. Will that come? Will this kick come down to uh, discussion? Will be interesting. Close to the forward. Look, a play goes to the forwards. Up faces. But I've turned possession over to St. Peter's. Speed Rights will be looking to hold on to possession. They lose their own, so the referee will bring back play to the initial infringement and award possession to Pete Wright. Midfield scrum. Thirty-four minutes on the clock. Uh, it's been a very scrappy game. Uh, we witnessed this uh, quite a few times in the season as well. Uh, the composure of the two teams haven't been the same. Uh, the look. It's uh, not a free, not free-flowing rugby. Plenty of mistakes. Yeah, it has been. And the uh, uh, match between Trinity and Saint Peter's in the first round also was an error-filled game. As Saint Peter's get front football moving forward. Inside the opposition half, they get and a knock forward once again from the Pete Wrights. So it'll be a scrum for Trinity. Not exactly what you want to see, especially when it comes to a knockout game. It's a quarter final. Plenty of errors marring both teams. Not able to pick up any momentum. 
Now this will be interesting. Will Lakita Sakalasuria decide to run this ball? Or will Lakita Sakalasuria decide to take the territorial way? But he has to be very careful because Diaz Fernando is placed very well. Decides to run it now with Raj Ratnam, the man going crashing in. Sakalasuria now to Bandar Naika. Has his brother on the out. Decides to cut back in Bandar Naika. Needs support. Now Ranaraja recognizes the space and darts to the tiny space in the infringement. Nobody clearing it. But the referee says going in from the side. Right on top of it, referee Pires. So Trinidians with a chance now to go into the half time with the advantage. That's a good kick to touch. Now it's very important that Eranjan gets his throw right. <laughs> Front man ball. Mistakes. Going simple into line out. Absolutely, front man ball keeping it close to the forwards. Pete Wrights defending with all their might now. Because remember, they are the ones who've been dominating the opening faces. So we need to be very, very, very lucky there. Because uh, Pete Wrights managed to turn over the position. But uh, spilling the ball in the contest. Now Trinity with another chance. 17 points to 21 is the score currently. I have a very nervous Milan here in the commentary box. A beat right supporter is finding it hard to be in one position. Ranaraja with the put in. Gives it out to Sakalasuria. Crashing in his water with a cone. Nobody's going to stop him. That was brilliantly done. Beautiful move. Warren Viracone says thank you very much and goes through the middle. Brilliant try and uh, Trinity get themselves in front just before the stroke of half time. As we spoke, uh, as, as we spoke Sudarshan, I think Trinity is now learning through their mistakes. Going in simple, playing simple rugby and I think the results, sh results have showed that Simple rugby will suit Trinity and take a look at the replay. Sakal Surya showing it to Raj Ratnam and Warren Virakon. Boom, he goes right through the middle, right underneath the post. And converted try for Trinity. So seven tries scored in this first half. Brilliant stuff from both teams and uh, Pete Wrights will be disappointed because they've been the ones who have been calling shots in this first half. He d they dominated, they did many things right, but uh, going into half time, they, they've given away the lead that they had throughout the first half. And I think Trinity is using their shortcuts, going into the territory, using their forwards, sucking in the defense, and then using their lightning speed back division to put the icing on the cake. So there you go, the halftime confirmation, 20 college, 24 points against Pete White's 21. Nothing uh, separating the two teams, just the three points. So don't go anywhere. When we come back, we'll be bringing you action from the second half. And uh, that's it from us on the first half. We will go for a short commercial break. And when we come back, the second half action of Trinity College versus St. Peter's College.
technique, tactics, attack, defense, pattern. Back to the board, the rugby analysis. What's happening here? The chance for. The Breakdown, end-to-end Sri Lankan rugby. Samahar Vishleshane Antiyenava, Eva Samahar Lavata Hariyan Dath Pulluvang, Varadin Dath Pulluvang Kosa. Cricket Kane Avinishtha Krida Vak Dhanushkya. Api Dhanne Munadu Siddhuvanne Gela, Godadde Kathakaranna Pulluvang Pitiyan 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 ऐत में ऐत खाता आवेन न पुलवां पीटे ऐतुले एक खाता आवेन न पुलवां एक क्रिकेट विश्लेषण आत्मक वो उबरता समकरण नटर अभी सूदाने में गिनवा पीटे एक खाता तो लेन रहने न अभी तक द पापरे.com श्रीलंका वे प्रमुख तम क्रीड़ा वे आदेश समा follow Sri Lankan sports obviously even while you're traveling how do you do that well I follow I, I always keep an eye on the cricket I know the, the match is starting in a few more minutes uh, and the internet is a great way to do it and uh, you know initiatives like the papare.com and it gives us so much information excellent access excellent insight and I've noticed now that you know I, I, I played the game there are a huge amount of cricket fans out there they look at things in so much detail. They demand detail much more than, you know, we have a video analyst for us. Mm. But these guys want even more detail when it comes <laughs> to, you know, reading about the game. and So I think the Papare.com provides all of that beautifully. So, uh, you know, congratulations and well done to the Papare.com because for people like me and for, for millions of other cricket fans around the world to have a, a deep insight, an intricate look into sports and also follow uh, live scores, results, and news. That's an ideal way. Well, you're at the right place. Sharing the passion here with Kumar Sangakkara. Kumar, thanks very much for joining us here. It doesn't matter what you think. The first rule is trust yourself. Fitness Diaries, in a mission to uplift the fitness arena in Sri Lanka. मैं मैं कह ना वाला कह ना वेलकम बैक टू द लाइव एक्शन ब्रोट यू फ्रॉम सुकुंदरास स्टेडियम सेकंड क्वार्टर फाइनल ऑफ माइलो नॉकआउट्स 
Trophy 2017. Trinity College taking on St. Peter's. And uh, at the half time, the score read 24 points to 21. Trinity College leading with the slenders of margins of three points. They'll be considering themselves very, very lucky because Pete Wright were the ones who were calling shots throughout the first half. They were dominating proceedings, but Trinity very lucky to come into the mix in the dime minutes of the first half, managing to get the lead. Then, what would you expect Trinity to do in the second half? Ranaraj at that time uh, may, doing very well. This was what was expected of them in the first half. Ranaraja has stepped up to that number nine jersey brilliantly. He's uh, been chosen in the squad that will tour. Sri Lanka and eight in uh, squad that will tour to Bahamas for the Commonwealth Games. A different discipline, sevens, but uh, still it's a big achievement for the young lad now. Pete Wright on the charge, trying to make amends for the last few minutes of the first half. Tikshan Dasanayak, a strong carry out the ball, a strong run from him. But uh, unlucky for him, Ravin forgot where the touch line was in this fine wide ground of Sugata Dasa. Maybe he's an athlete and has a liking for the athletic track on the outside. <laughs> Twenty losing out on that. Uh, and uh, Pete Wright's on the counter straight away. They've looked very dangerous every time they have possession. Quite a bit of jeering from the crowds. <laughs> now, Peters have numbers. Tikshan Dasanayaka deciding to go himself. Gives it out to Diaz Fernando, who will touch down under the post. No problem. Brilliantly done by St. Peters. Beautiful try, and just like that, they climb back to the league and regain the lead of the game. Lovely bit of work by Thikshan Dasanayaka having the good sense to pass it out to the speed, uh, speedster Diaz Fernando on the outside who had no problem and uh, went around no Trinity defenders there you go too fast Fernando did very well to stop himself because remember it's a tiny in goal he could have almost stepped outside to the deadline but Pete Wright straight away in the lead, 26 points to 24 with the conversion to come. No problem with the conversion, so there you go, 28 points to 24 is the score. Dikshan Dishanayaka good with the conversion and he created that try as well. He's been the standout player for St. Peter's. Yeah, he has been but uh, where that try was uh, set up for me was uh, that couple of tackles missed in the forwards on the left side uh, initially and then Dikshan are exploiting uh, the Trinity defence. About three on two they were and managed to uh, Score. Rashen kicking deep inside the 22 and straight away kicked out and a very good kick too brings back plate for the 50 meter mark and if Trinity has to reply they have to reply soon
knocked backwards, kicked, and the chase is on. Running back is the, the Trinity win three quarter. Twists and turns and settles it down perfectly. And St. Peter's putting a lot of pressure on the Trinity Rock and looks like they've turned over ball. Yes, they have. Great opportunity for St. Peter's College. Once again, missing tackles the Trinitians. Yes, Tekshana once again opening up for Diaz Fernando. <laughs> Just forgetting the touchline once again. Here's an opportunity going behind. Very scrappy ball. Opportunity here for St. Peter's College. Coming towards the 22 meter mark. Trying to step and run through is Shehan and a penalty for holding on. So once again, Trinity College have managed to turn our ball on the brick of the 22. Bandar Nayaka kicks and brings back play to the 50 meter mark. Here's the replay once again. Niranjan. Vishwa. Here's Sakala Surya to Nathan Chang running into contact. Vishwa once again. Referee playing advantage for Trinity College, trying to offload. Had man on this support in the place of Alvis. Here's Peter. Alvis once again. Russian Bandaranayaka taking the ball into contact, moving forward Trinity College. Sakala Surya. Looks like the penalty advantage that Trinity had is over and now the Ad Fernando trying to step and run. Tikshana. Niranjan. Good turnover. Now Trinity trying to settle things down with their forwards. Nathan moving forward. And a penalty this time once again. Off the feet says the referee quickly taken by Vishwa. Not 10 meters, the Pete writes. Enthu enthusiastic uh, presence of Pete Wright here. Following the game very closely, very vocal. Trinity coming inside the 22 for the first time. Very important set piece. Little bit of stoppage uh, because Teekh uh, Sanayaka's boot has started malfunctioning. So he's opting for a new player, exchanging it with a player on uh, from the bench. Warranting the referee to stop play for a little. There you go. The brand new player. Hopefully it fits him well. <coughs> Arundhan with a very crucial line out throw is won by the Petrites. They will be very, very relieved. Petrites have been very good in the line outs. 
showing very good intent, contesting uh, all the line outs. Referee playing advantage to the beat rights. Trinity is guilty of being offside and that will be a, a high tackle coming in. Like Dinuk mentioned, very vocal Pete Wright supporters. There you go, referee bringing back play for that high tackle. Let's take a look at the replay if possible. Referee is going to the pocket. We'll have a word with uh, the assistant referee. Whether it's just a penalty or it warrants a yellow card. Seems like Chanal will uh, get away with a warning and not a yellow card. So there you go, it's the latter yellow card, Chanal Abhavadna. Ten minutes in the bin. A little bit of a harsh call for him. Take a look at the replay. It sure did look like it went to the deadline, but the uh, referee says no, it's a, it was legal and it was in the five meters. That's the kick. Overthrow by Pete Wright seems like a planned move, but and they score brilliantly done. Beautiful work from the hooker, throwing it to the man at the back, number 17 jersey. Faiz Abdullah is the try scorer. So Peters increasing their lead to nine points with the conversion to come. And uh, Dustin Ike has been cricking very well today, but he's had a change of boots. Let's see how his uh, new set of boots will perform. Dinok Petrites have been uh, taking their chances very well throughout the game today and uh, as we saw, line out just 5 meters away, make use of it and straight away hit Trinity. Yeah, they have and uh, every time they have, uh, they have uh, been rewarded with points for playing good rugby inside the opposition half and this time around it was uh, an attack that started from their own half, couple of penalties by the Trinitians and they capitalized on that uh, the Pete rights and uh, scored and they are running away with this game now uh, Sudarshana absolutely at time skipper Chang was guilty of not making that first tackle something that has been exposed throughout this season Nathan Chang playing his fifth year for Trinity but played four years as a front row forward as a hooker was moved to the third row this year but uh, his defensive capabilities were questioned. Trinity with a deep kick. Nobody from Peters wants it, but finally collecting it and charging forward. Kick from the base. Making a mockery of that collection. This Ranaraja. Vishwa needs to shake that off because he's had a decent game so far. 24 points to 33. High scoring game we have on our hands today. Even yesterday we saw plenty of tries being scored. But remember it's just 51 minutes on our clock. Plenty time to play in this game. And it can be anybody's affair. 
like we mentioned at the beginning, whoever wanted more will take it home. A show and go from the Pete Wright Centre. Now the Ad Fernando to Dustin Iger, who cuts back inside. Trinity have managed to turn the ball over. They'll be very lucky. And referee penalising uh, Patriots for going in from the sides. Quickly taken. And loses the ball forward. Unnecessary, unnecessary there. Absolutely unnecessary by Joshua Peter. There's another change for the Trinity camp. Bandara coming in, place of Joshua Peter. So Peter paying the price for trying to be too smart. Good pressure coming in from Rana Raja. He's been bundled in the touch, so good work there by Trinidians. Trying to make amends of the mistake that they did earlier. It's an uphill climb, climb for the lads from Candy. Nine points. Here's Naranjan. Once again, a turnover line out, a penalty this time. <laughs> Opportunity for St. Peter's to get into the Trinity half. They've already scored 33 points on the board. 24 for Trinity. Changes uh, coming in. Couple of uh, changes for Trinity. Just on the sideline. Looks like Anuka Boyaguda. And uh, Herat, the Trinity under 18 fly off, will come in. Line outs, a spot of bother today for Trinity. And once again, a missed tackle from Warren, but a very good one from uh, Akita Sakala Surya. Here's Warren Virakon, referee playing advantage for Trinity College. Vishwa to Akita Sakala Surya, going into contact is Abdullah. Vishwa once again passing that ball behind. Ravinda taking the ball into contact. Vishwa. Long pass to uh, Warren Virakon. Has space on the outside. A bit slow there, Warren. Referee playing advantage once again. Another penalty coming up. Hands on the ground. Another big change. Uh, the replacements fly half and scrum half. Today the halves combination has been working very well for Trinity College. A new set of halves combination, not Tanuka and Lashan we have seen throughout the season. It's Vishwa and uh, Akita Sakalasurya. 
He has Warren once again. This time, uh, red belt by the Peters defense. Men on the outside. He has Bandar Nayaka to Kulatunga. Kulatunga stepping in and knocks the ball forward. Very an awkward body position going into contact. Uh, Murad putting the ball in front uh, rather than the body. Um, I think I mean uh, he lost balance if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you know, he was trying to get up while he was running, and <laughs> I think that made him uh, go away with that unforced error. Trinity, on the other hand, making a lot of unforced errors, and looks like Trinity is uh, getting some regulars into the side and uh, expecting more boost. And Trinity is forwards, especially, and also Anuka Boyagoda, the regular scrum half, coming in. As you said, Dinuka, I would agree. The new half halves combination have been working well for Trinity so far, and hope Anuk and uh, the other new fresh uh, leg Herat will make no mistakes and bringing Trinity up to that next level. Yeah, and the front row of Avisha Priyankara and Shavina Ekanayaka, big weight, big buses coming in there in front of Trinity College. These were the boys who were starting for Trinity. And straight away another knock on and Trinity capitalizing. Here's the new uh, fresh leg. Now Boya got uh, through the hands. Yes, Herat. Herat offloading it to uh, Warren Virakon. Offloads once again to uh, Rishan Bandar Nayaka. Still pumping his legs through. Boyagoda going towards the short side. Nathan Chang needs support. Offloads is to Warren Virakon. A lot of continuity here for Trinity College. Yes, Boyagoda once again to Herat. Now Priyankara, the big prop forward who has done wonders for Trinity this season. Boyagoda once again to Herat. Men on the outside. Herat trying to step and run through. And a knock forward, says the referee. Interesting replays coming up here, Sudarshan. Let's take a look at the replay. It did look like Hera touched down, but uh, referee was right on the spot. So here's the replay. Hera thought about giving it out. Seems like he touched down without a problem, but uh, referee Pires deeming that it was lost forward. But Trinity will be looking to make a change when it comes to this scrum, because remember the the big the big. So take a look at that on the try line. That scored. And uh, when it comes to this scrum, Trinity will be make looking to make the intent clear because there are two big men now back in the front row. Avisha Priyankara and Shavi Nekanayaka, we all know what they are capable of. They'll be looking to put the Petrites under the pump. Free kick awarded. Anuka Boyagoda trying to go himself. Finally offloads and Trinity asking a lot of questions. Keeping it close to their forwards. Now Avisha Priyankara on the out. Still with the forwards. Referee playing advantage. So Trinity getting a penalty on their way. Herat deciding to come back in. Boyagoda has the ball, gives it out to Priyankara. Priyankara with a big no argue. Takes the ball in front. We hasn't we haven't seen Priyankara's offloading game. Shavine Kanayaka with a thundering bash there and uh, Pete Wright's penalized. Let's see what the call will be. It'll be interesting uh, whether Trinity will go for three points or no, they opt to go for a scrum. They won this big seven. T 24 points to 33 is the score. 
Nine points difference between the two teams. 61 minutes on our clock. Boyagoda feeds it in. Boyagoda on the charge. Show and go by Boyagoda. And Trinity has lost the ball forward. Let's take a look at the replay because uh, funny how that ball could have been lost forward. There go Boyagoda taking it in. Show and go. Could have passed. So there you go. First knock on through the Trinity hands. Now Pete Wright's under pressure because uh, remember their line, half the line is outside the in goal area. Del Fernando giving a threatening look. <laughs> he did look terrified. The replacement scrum off didn't want to be in captain's bad books. They're going to be very careful because uh, half the team is outside the deadline area. The Fernando taking on the clearance duties brings play to the 22 meter mark. And uh, Yasuru Valiwatta also has made the field, the starting hooker for Trinity. And the front plea, 93-93 option was the call by Nathan Tang, quite loud. Here are to Ranaraja, Ranaraja goes crashing in. Now Shavi Nekanayaka, strong carry out the ball, all floats to Valiwatta, doesn't collect it cleanly. Kanisha Alves, forward pass says the referee. So Trinity trying different things but uh, silly errors making them pay and uh, they've been camping in this 22 meters for quite some time now. There you go, Shavi Nekanayaka who took the ball forward. Offloaded to Valivatta. Pete Wright with the ball. They will be looking to go on the shorter side because Diaz Fernando is on this side. Kick from base. It's important you know, that Trinity scores from this point if they need to have any hopes of winning this game because nine point deficit going into the last 10 minutes is going to be difficult. Yeah, there are enough and more opportunities uh, that Trinity has to score uh, in the last about five to 10 minutes with the key replacements coming in as well. But credit to St. Peter's, they have managed to force Trinity to make errors. That's a crooked throw from the Trinity end. So there you go, another opportunity gone begging. That's the replay once again. Hasiru Valivata's first uh, line out throw after coming. Uh, in as a replacement for the first time in the season, I guess. A good break from the Peters, number eight, driving his way forward. Charge down the kick through the hands, it goes. No one wants to take that run. There were two Trinity uh, forwards.
Outside the 22, another line-out opportunity for Trinity College. About 13, uh, just under 13 minutes to go on our clock. St. Peter's leading by two scores. And once again, the line-out has been a problem throughout the day today and it continues to worry the Trinitians, even though they have the number one choice on the park and a knock forward in the meantime they are missing their, uh, their second rows big time uh, Rishan Madhan and Pasan Samara Vikram of the two Indians another replacement coming in Kanish Alvis uh, who didn't play the second leg of the Brad Shield game coming to the starting line out of this and he's been taken out here's St. Peter's straight to the earth the earth uh, kicking it straight to the hands of uh, Bandar Nayak he gives it to his brother Rashin who had men on the outside but opting to go on his own through the center field. Here's Herat to Virakon. Virakon trying to cut his way back in. Fence of couple of players taken into contact. Boyagoda to Priyankara. Good handling shown by Priyankara there. Here's Herat once again. Out to Rajaratnam. Rajaratnam has men on the outside to Bandaranayaka. taken inside the 22 now long pass out to Shavin Ekanayaka he will not offload he will go inside to contact inside the 22 the Trinitians go and this is Priyankara once again lovely hands Warren Vira Kohn just uh, an ankle tackle here's Herat once again stepping and running into contact is uh, Netra and holding on says the referee and a penalty is given so St. Peter's once again good on the deck quickly taken by the scrum half very well uh, skill display there good skill displayed there by the Pete Wright got tackled released the ball picked up penalty not 10 meters says the referee Going into the last 10 minutes of the game, 33 points to 24. Tough ass for Trinity. And a great opportunity for St. Peter's to get out of jail and just park themselves in that last 10 in the opposition half and to seal this game. Another injury concern for St. Peter's. A brilliant kick, an excellent kick by Tikshana. Great opportunity for St. Peter's now on the 50 meter mark. Isuru Fernando to throw into the line out. Gets it right, nice and clean. Trinity rushing their defense. Playing it, trying to play it close and run this clock down. St. Peter's. Yes, Ravin. And now Tikshana, this is danger time for the Trinity team. Looking for quick ball. Ravin, lovely hands from the Pete Wrights, taking the ball into contact just outside the 22, or rather, off, just outside the 40 meter mark. Trying to step and run through is uh, Dilshan Madhushankar. And a penalty for. St. Peter's.
And St. Peter's growing for three points. Looks like the call has come from the bench. Colin and uh, Terence Henry. Barking instructions from the bench off your screen to take three points and put this game to bed. Because it's a nine point lead and Trinity have to score thrice if they have to come back into this game. A very good decision by the coaching staff but a big kick 40 meter kick in front of the post though as you know Tikshana has the distance it will be uh, an interesting thing how he manages distance with accuracy when it comes to the long range kicks just inside the 40 meter mark there you go has the distance doesn't uh, put it in between the post off the left post it goes will be a 22 meter restart for Trinity College trying to take it quickly and put trying to put it to space but straight into the danger man Diaz Fernando one of the best counter attackers going around try to slip through around Navin Rajaratnam couldn't get through there St. Peter's moving forward once again Avisha Priyankara trying to make a tackle and a very good take three on one trying to step his way through was Dilshan Madhushankar once again here is uh, St. Peter's running through Sajid Seram overlap on the outside not enough space though trying to offload once again danger time for Trinity and St. Peter's moving forward once again Trying to go through their big prop for for forward and a great offload. And there's a huge mismatch on the outside. And will step his way through in. That's Jason Karuna Ratna. Who's a win three quarter turned a flanker playing for St. Peter's, our man of the match in that game against Trinity last time he played. What a player he has turned out to be. He has turned out to be a great invent for the Pete Wrights. Here's Tikshana once again off that left post. 38 points to 24. Just under four minutes to go on our clock. Once again, a bit too deep for the forwards to contest for Trinity. Here's Dilshan once again kicking deep. And it goes uh, out on the full, so it'll be an opportunity for Trinity here. They need to score, convert, score, convert if they have to draw this game and do they have enough time on the clock is the question and take the game into extra time that will be uh, very interesting if that happens for Trinity
Another two changes coming up for St. Peter's College. Ashel Ranasinghe and also Chandi Masandaruan coming in place for Tikshana Dasanayak who had a fantastic game today for me at number 12. Spotted the space in that Trinity backs and also coming out is Ravin Fernando. Yes, Hasiru. A very long time. Dilshan to feed the ball into the scrum. The second half has been uh, totally different, isn't it? Sudarshan and Trinity have had a lot of pushing, but uh, have not managed to score. Absolutely, Janook. The problem has been uh, the same problem that they had in the first half. They weren't finishing the chances that they've received in the second half. Only difference being that Trinity had more possession in the second half. So they'll be kicking themselves and they have nobody else to blame. But uh, Pete Wright, on the other hand, have been clinical. They've made use of every single chance. And uh, made sure that they make Trinity pay every time they had the ball in front foot. And uh, with 78 minutes on the clock, it's safe to see say that uh, the Bomber Brigade are marching through to the second semi-final and will meet whoever wins tomorrow's game and uh, they look it's they look at Murad it's time for us to decide who the player of the match has been and uh, for me I have there's one contender who's really put his hand up that's uh, Tikshan Dasanayaka from St. Peter's College he's been all around the park uh, and as for the Trinidians I thought uh, Vishwarana Raja, who came in place of Anuka Boyagoda, did show some intent. But uh, any other nominations that you all have, anybody else that comes to the mind? I think, uh, I, think I need to agree with you, Sudarshana. Uh, in terms of uh, Trinity's side, uh, Rana Raja had uh, done justice to the number 9 jersey. And uh, on the other hand, St. Peter's number 12 also have done justice. And I think... Uh, it's up to the officials to make the call and it's a long whistle there, St. Peter's walking to semi-finals. Yeah, thanks for this, Dasanayaka will be our man of the match today and St. Peter's move into the knockout semi-finals. They'll be playing Isipatana or St. Anthony's which will be played tomorrow here. That'll be another decider. So there you go, Trinidians have lost out to Peter's twice this season. <laughs> Spirit. The second game, second quarter final, second quarter final of uh, this Milo Knockout President's Trophy. Trinitians are fielding a depleted side, but take nothing away from the Pete Rights. They made use of all their chances, capitalize on the mistakes by the Trinitians and. Uh, the score line says it all, 38 points to 14. We've had some high scoring games so far. Tomorrow is going to be a, a very interesting clash. Antonians taking on the green machine, Isipatana, who's been the most successful team in this President's Knockout Trophy, clinching it seven times in the 25 year history. So they will be looking to add to their silverware not winning the league this time Patana will come all guns blazing but uh, as for the stories today it's been all St. Peter's lads from Bumble the pity the El Fernando the captain will be very happy he scored a brilliant try in the first first half
There go the twenty skipper Nathan Chang. Will be a very, very disappointed man. Full time score 24 points to 38. Pete Wright having trailed at the end of the first half 24 points to 21. Take the victory. Trinity only Trinity didn't manage to score a single try or single point in the second half. The score breakdown uh, for Trinity four tries, two converted, whereas Pete Wright managed to convert four of their six tries. And uh, 24 points to 38 is the final score. Deekshin Dasanayaka, Pete Wright, number 12, the center uh, player of the match. And uh, they book a place in the second semi final against whoever wins the game tomorrow. And uh, that's it from us from Sukhutlasa today from this second quarter final. And we will bring you action from the third quarter final tomorrow. Isipata Nicole is taking on St. Anthony's. Same place, same time. So do tune in to www.thepapere.com or channel 1 on Dialog Television as we bring you the quarterfinal action from Milo Knockout Trophy. And until next time, I'm Sudarshan Apiris signing off al alongside Dinuk Baskar and Murad Ramtin and everybody from our production crew sharing the passion.